Hello everybody and welcome back to the Jimmy Dojo channel and in today's video we're going to be doing a pack battle between Panini's Adrenaline XL 2 and 24 set and the Premier League Stickers 2 and 24 sticker collection. So if you're excited to see what packs come out on top then make sure to absolutely smash that like button and if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well so you do not miss any future uploads. So yeah without further ado let's open up 12 packs of Adrenaline XL and 12 packs of Premier League Stickers and see what's better. So yes, what I didn't mention in the intro is that with the 12 packs from each collection, we're going to be building a team with the packs from the respective set. And it's going to be a draft format as well. So how that works, we open a pack and we're only allowed to pick one player per pack. It's the same for the Adrenaline XL as it is for the Premier League stickers. Now the Premier League stickers were at a slight disadvantage because there's one less sticker per pack. However... I reckon we can build two solid teams here, but it's up to you lot in the comment section to tell me which collection wins come the end of the video. So we're going to be starting off with Adrenaline XL and seeing what team we can build with this, and then we will do the Premier League sticker team. Uh, so let's kick things off with the first Adrenaline XL 2 and 24 pack of the video. Obviously one pound a pack, six cards per pack. And there are the odds on the back. Let's see if we can get a cheeky golden baller. It's been a long, long time since we've hit one of the golden ballers on the channel. And of course, if it is Bakayo Saka, that means a completed Adrenaline XL collection. Uh, so we're starting off with Adrenaline Rush of Johan Wisser. Uh, game changer, Solly March. The Wolves lineup. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what a start. That is Erling Haaland. Oh, Julian Alvarez in the same pack. Look at that. And then we've got Max Kilman for Wolves. I mean, ugh, realistically, it's only one man. We've got to go for Erling Haaland. As much as I love Julian Alvarez, we've got to go for Haaland. He goes up top in the Adrenaline XL team. There we go. What a start for the Adrenaline XL side in the first pack. Uh, so, yeah, next one, we're starting off with a world-class Idrissa Garner Gay, Dynamo Josh Brownhill. We've then got Anthony Oromangala, Bruno Fernandes, and Vitaly Mikalenko. Again, it's a pretty good option we've got in this pack. Bruno Fernandes slots straight into midfield. I'll tell you what, this has been a very strong start for the Adrenal XL packs. But hopefully the Premier League stickers can match this because that would be two very tough to, uh, tough teams to compare against. Uh, so who have we got here? We've got Eru Ace, Ethan Pinnock. We've then got a Christian Eriksen precision card from Man United. Tossin Adrabai, who's, who's currently on form uh, for Fulham, who of course put in their last two games at the time of filming a five-goal wins at home. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Five-nil wins as well. Uh, so Tossin's a good option there. And then we've got Ekdal, Oliver Skip, and Jack Grealish. Oh! Oh, do we go Jack Grealish on the left-hand side or do we go for Tossin? Oh, wow. That's tricky. Tell you what, I've snubbed Grealish too many times recently. He's going to go in the team. Plus, he comes up with some pretty crucial goals for Man City. Uh, so there we go. Two Man Cities in here in Haaland and Grealish. And obviously, uh, Bruno Fernandes from Manchester United. So a bit of a Manchester theme to this opening so far. In the next pack, though, we're starting off with Hyun Min Son. Where does he play? He's left wing or striker. Wow. I'll tell you what, this team is, is going to be unbelievable at this point. Uh, top keeper, Burn Leno. Yeah, we've then got George Bulldog, Aaron Hickey, John Stones, and Mario Lamina. Oh, God. Do we go for Hume Min Son? We might have to put Jack Grealish back into left mid. So, yeah, I think we're going to do that. And we're going to put Hume Min Son up top with Erling Haaland. <laughs> what a team this is. You've got Bruno Fernandes, Grealish, Son, and Haaland. We're doing very well, but we need some defenders. We need a goalkeeper as well. Give us Allison, and that would be absolutely insane. Uh, we've got the Crystal Palace badge. We've then got Alan some Maximan Fire. God, Nacho, it's not a bad option there. Uh, Morgan Gibbs White's also not bad. Callum Wilson's not bad either. And Amadou Onana's not even bad either. These have been some tricky packs. Oh, Garnacho's tempting. He is in form at the moment. Left wing or left mid? What do we reckon, folks? Do we put a bit of uh, Garnacho on the left-hand side? But then again, we've already got Grealish. And we've already got Son, who plays left wing. Can't realistically go for Callum Wilson, because we've already got two strikers in the team. Gibbs White. Do we go for Morgan Gibbs White or Amadou Onana for Everton? Wow, okay. Tell you what, we're going to go for Morgan Gibbs-White. Something a little bit different. Let's pop him into midfield with Bruno Fernandes. And that is the team so far. We've got three in midfield, two up top. We do need some defenders. And, of course, the elusive goalkeeper 
is what's missing. Uh, we've got Hot Shot Mo Salah. <laughs> I believe he can play on the right, though. Yes, he can. Wow. This could be arguably the best front three I've built in draft history at this point. Uh, Hot Shot Mo Salah there. Uh, we've then got the lineup for Palace. Issa Diop. We've then got Mudrik, Perisic, and oh my word. Oh my word. Oh no. Kevin De Bruyne or Mo Salah? That is an ultimate question right there. Oh, if only De Bruyne was in the previous pack instead of Gibbs White. Oh, wow. Does De Bruyne have any other special cards in his collection? I don't think he does. Salah, we could easily get his base card, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow. Let us know what you do in the comment section, but this is a tough tough predicament i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go for hot shot mo salad de bruyne i'm so sorry song goes in on the left hand side harlan through the middle salad on the right hand side that front three is absolutely filth but i really wish we had kevin de bruyne in this team oh it's so horrible um so i don't really know what formation we're going to be building here it's going to be a three four three probably a three four three we need a right midfielder now uh, or a 4-4-2. Four, four, no, it can't be a 4-4-2. Four, four, okay, this is going to be tricky. We'll have to wait and see, but at the end of the day, we've got three up top. It could be a 4-3-3 four, three, three at the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, let's see what we can build here. We've got a Fulham defender, ultrasonic, Anthony Robinson. Ruben Neves, precision. We've then got Enzo Fernandez, uh, Ethan Pinnock, uh, Johan Wisser, and Pablo Sarabia. Right, we really need some defenders in this team, so I'm going to have to go for Ethan Pinnock. It's a matter of desperacy at this point, but he's not a bad centre-half. Let's be let's be fair on him, even though he's Brentford. He goes into the team. Uh, it, it's not a bad defender, it has to be said. There we go. I've angled the camera down a little bit so we can see the full team once it's fully built. Uh, so who have we got in here? We need a goalkeeper, desperately. We've got playmaker Lucas Paqueta, uh, powerhouse Badia Shiel. We've then got Danny Welbeck, Amel Admetodzic, Alexander Isak... And Joao Palinha. It's a very good option, to be fair, Joao Palinha. He is a CDM. Paqueta's a cam. Badia Shield. We do need another defender, don't we? We could go Amal Anel Ahmed Hodzic, though, as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Sheffield United a bit of representation here. Anel Ahmed Hodzic goes into the team alongside Ethan Pinnock. He's not a bad centre-back, to be fair. Uh, but, yeah. So we need a right-back, left-back. Uh, or it could be another centre-back to make it a 3-4-3. Three, three. We've got the Premier League trophy. When does it end with this Premier League Adrenal XL collection? Every single pack opening I do, I get this card. Honestly, it is... Oh, I'm sick of it, to be honest. <laughs> but there it is. Uh, Manuel Benson, fire. Um, oh, no. What did I say earlier? What did I say earlier? I should have gone De Bruyne. No! Silly GBW. Oh, I should have gone De Bruyne. I could have had him and Salah. Oh, it's heartbreaking. And we've got Carney Chukwemeka, Mikel Antonio, and Ben Davies. Wow, now that is an underwhelming way to end that pack. But he has to go into the team in defence, Ben Davies. I cannot believe we just got Mo Salah. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. We've got three packs left. We still need a goalkeeper, by the way. I honestly think we might have had possibly one goalkeeper the whole video. So hopefully this changes. Okay, there's another one. Uh, we've got the Brighton Bads. There is top keeper Neto, who as it stands will 100% be being picked. We've then got Jaden Anthony, the Brentford lineup. Elliot Anderson and Wes Fodderingham. Yeah, I think we're going to go for top keeper Neto in the in between the sticks uh, as our goalkeeper. Right, we have got one pack left to go, and we need either a right back or a right midfielder, and then it's a perfect eleven. So right back or right midfielder, and then of course we've got the swapsy pack to make any last minute changes to our team if we so wish to do so uh, in the pack. But remember, only allowed to pick one player from that pack as well. So let's see what we've got in this pack. We've got Aerial Ace, uh, Ollie McBurney. We've then got Jared Bowen, Game Changer. Where can he play? He can play right wing. We could probably get away with putting him in right midfield at the moment, couldn't we? Uh, so there is Game Changer, Jared Bowen, Evan Ferguson, uh, Daniel Pedence. We've then got uh, Shandon Baptiste and Johan Berg Goodmanson. He's, he is a right winger, to be fair, Goodmanson. Any others in here, right wingers? You've got Jared Bowen. Uh, who's that? Daniel Pedence. That's an interesting one. Daniel Pedence is a little bit different, isn't it? We haven't seen Wolves in these teams much. But then again, we could go for Jared Bowen because he also says right winger on it. We're going to do it. We're going to go for Jared Bowen in the right-hand side position. 
And that, my friends, is a pretty electric team, not going to lie. We've still got one more pack, though, for the Swapsy pack uh, to make any changes to the team if we want to. Uh, so let's do that, and then we can run you through the team we've built with the Adrenaline Excel cards, and then go through the Premier League sticker team as well. Uh, so we're starting off with the Manchester City badge. We've then got Felipe Powerhouse for uh, Nottingham Forest. We've then got Diogo Jota, Kai Havertz, uh, David Raya, and pierre emile Huybier. I'll tell you what we're going to do, actually. I think we're going to put David Raya in between the sticks instead of Neto. He's obviously now at um, Arsenal, David Raya. So here we go. The team from the Adrenaline XL packs. In goal, we've got David Raya in defence. We've got Ethan Pinnock, Anel Admedocic, Ben Davies, Jared Bowen, game changer on the right-hand side. And then we've got Bruno Fernandes, Morgan Gibbs-White, and Jack Grealish, consisting of the rest of the midfield. And up top, it is Salah, Haaland, and Hyunmin Son. Going forward, this team is absolutely sensational. At the back, might leak a few goals here and there, but overall, pretty solid. I reckon this team does finish in a European position. Um, so there we go. That is the Adrenaline XL team. But now it's time to open up 12 packs of the Premier League stickers and see if we can build an even better team using those. Right, here we go. Let's open up these Premier League 2 van 24 sticker packs and see what team we can build here. Come on, let's make it even better than the Adrenaline XL one. We're starting off with not a great start, a kit stick, which obviously we can't use for Everton. Uh, we've then got a Dean Henderson goalkeeper for Crystal Palace. That's a pretty good option straight off the bat. Uh, we've then got stat star Tyrone Mings. And Morgan Gibbs-White, of course, featured in the Adrenaline XL team. And Declan Rice. For Arsenal, new signing sticker. That is a pretty good start indeed to this team. Declan Rice goes in and the rest, unfortunately, are going to miss out. Will I rue that missing out of a goalkeeper? Possibly. We'll have to find out later on in this pack opening. Uh, but that's the first player in the team. Declan Rice had to be in, realistically. He can play CDM or centre mid. Now, here's another similarity to our previous team we just built. Stat star Mo Salah. So we can put him in straight away on the right-hand side if we want to. Behind that, we've got Yves Bissouma, stat star for Tottenham. We've then got Serge Aurier for Nottingham Forest. Aaron Ramsey and James McAtee. Okay, we're going to go for Mo Salah. We're already building a very similar team to last time, aren't we, with the Adrenaline XL packs. Um, so, yeah, well, let's continue on and see if this uh, continues. We've got Cameron Archer, one to watch. Uh, we've then got world-class Raul Jimenez, world-class Jordan Ayew. We've then got Vinicius Souza for Sheffield United and Ben White for Arsenal. Okay, who do we go for here? Jimenez is starting to fire in the goals for Fulham. Cameron Archer's not bad either. I think we're going to go for Ben White. Put him at right back. He can also play centre back as well. Uh, so put him here for now. Um, and yeah, obviously, depending on the formation, we can move him along as uh, as and when required. But we need to see a goalkeeper. That's what we need to see now. I don't want to be panicking in the last few packs without having a goalkeeper. Uh, but if we get someone like Haaland or De Bruyne or someone like that where we can't refuse them, well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to panic, aren't we? Uh, so we've got stat star of ne uh, Neko Williams, uh, Julian Timber, one to watch. We then got uh, Decor and Dwight McNeil celebrating a goal there for Everton. Uh, Marvelous Nakamba and Max Lowe. Well, that was uh, slightly underwhelming, wasn't it? Who do we go for here? I think we're going to go for Jurian Timber, one to watch. I know he hasn't played many minutes for Arsenal this year, but <laughs> what is this? What's going on? Three Arsenal players in the team already uh, and one Liverpool. Uh, so the top two in the Premier League to be fair I'm pretty sure um, so yeah that, that's interesting next up we're starting off with Rob Holding for Crystal Palace we've then got a stat star Matthias Jensen uh, James Tompkins for Crystal Palace and ooh, who's this that is a Manuel Benson elite sticker for Burnley and at the back it's Curtis Jones for Liverpool wow okay the elite sticker does look nice to be fair do we go Rob Holding? Oh, my word. These have been some pretty underwhelming players in this pack, isn't it? Look at that. I'm going to have to go for Curtis Jones, I think. Curtis Jones goes into the midfield with Declan Rice, and it continues <laughs> the Arsenal and Liverpool theme we've got going to this team so far. No decent Man City. I don't think we've had a single Man City player at all. Uh, starting off this one with a goalkeeper of Murich for Burnley. Uh, Christian Romero for Spurs. Uh, West Ham celebrating a goal. Christian Norgard, captain sticker. And at the back, oh, elite Jared Bowen. Oh, I think it's got to be Jared Bowen, hasn't it? Oh, do we? Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to put Jared Bowen in the midfield. 
Uh, in fact, he can go right wing. Well, no, he can play right wing as well. Oh, Salah and Jared Bowen. This is a pickle. We're going to put Jared Bowen on the right-hand side of midfield like we did in the last team with the Adrenal XL packs. So it looks like at the moment we could be building a 3-4-3 again. Um, but let's wait and see. Just move the stickers over a little bit because they obviously are quite sm quite a lot smaller than the uh, Adrenal XL cards. Uh, so as I said, it looks like we're building a 3-4-3 at the moment. But let's see what happens in these next few packs. We've got Mikola Mudrik, world class for Chelsea. Emil Smith Rowe. Tossing Adarabio, there we go. So we could go for him again. Well, obviously, we didn't go for him in the, uh, in the card packs, uh, but we had to turn him down. But not a bad option there, Tossing Adarabio. Casemiro for Manchester United and Eddie Nketiah. Ooh, it's between Casemiro, Tossing. I'm not sure about Mudrick, to be honest. Do we go for Tossing? Because he is in form, and it's something different. We're going to go for Tossing, because we rejected him in the previous, uh, in the Adrenal XL team, because to be fair, in that same pack, we had Salah and Kevin De Bruyne, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, Timber, Ben White, and Tossing Adrobio is our back three. But again, we're getting towards the end of this pack opening now, and we still haven't got a goalkeeper. So please, give us Edison, give us David Raya, give us Allison, give us, give us Ramsdale, any of those top goalkeepers I'll take. We've got Koli Osho one to watch here, uh, world-class Isak, stat star Kukurea, uh, Sangare, and Emerson Palmieri. Well... It's got to be Alexander Isak, hasn't it? World-class Isak can go up top uh, in the middle of the front three with Mo Salah. Uh, right, yeah, we still need a goalkeeper. Come on, Panini, give us a GK. We've got one to watch, Aaron Hickey. We've then got Joe Willock. Uh, Julian Alvarez. Oh, it's a really nice option. Oh, Fabian Scher there as well. And Ben Chilwell for Chelsea. So Alvarez can only play striker. Uh, Joe Willett can play in the midfield. Aaron Hickey, one to watch. Oh, wow. Do we do we just put Alvarez up top? Uh, I don't think it really matters, does it, where they actually play. So we're going to do it. I, I don't care. Alvarez goes in. He's on the left-hand side. We now do need a left-sided midfielder. Um, to complete off this team. And that is just absolutely perfect. Jack Grealish <laughs> is unbelievable. Right on cue, we needed that Jack Grealish. But hopefully, there isn't an absolutely insane goalkeeper in this pack as well. We've got Tom Lockyer, Stat Star, Victor Lindelof, Lyle Foster, and Buendia. Yep, straight away, straight away, should I say, Jack Grealish goes into the team. And that is a 3-4-3 formation. It's, just, it's a pretty solid team. We just need a goalkeeper. That is what we're banking on here, Panini. Please, just give us any goalkeeper in the Premier League. I will take any of them at this point. Come on. We're starting off this one with Jordan Bayer, Emerson Royal, uh, Lewis Dunk for Brighton. That's not a bad option. Jeremy Doku and Victor Lindelof. Oh, no. Well... We don't have a goalkeeper. Well, I suppose because we didn't get a goalkeeper in this pack, we're going to have to discard all the stickers from the pack. We, we can't use them. They can't get in the team. It's a shame because Doku would have been a nice option. So we're banking on this final pack here to have a goalkeeper sticker in. Please, any goalkeeper will do. We've got the Brentford team celebrating a goal. Uh, Antoine Semenyo. Neto, again, he's come up clutch. Neto, again, that's fantastic. Uh, Bournemouth's captain sticker there as well. Uh, we then got the Aston Villa badge. And super signing, James Trafford, another goalkeeper, two for the price of one. Who do we go for, Neto or super signing James Trafford to be a little bit different, a bit edgy? Uh, to be fair, we we reject... I feel bad for Neto if we didn't go for him, so we're going to go for him. Neto goes in net, uh, which is obviously funny because his name is Neto. Uh, but this is the team we built after 12 packs of the Premier League stickers. In goal, we have got for Neto, captain. Uh, we then got Ben White, Julian Timber, and Tossin as our centre-back uh, trio. In the midfield, we've got uh, Elite Jared Bowen, Curtis Jones, Declan Rice, and Jack Grealish on the left-hand side. And our front three is Mo Salah, uh, Alexander Isak, and Julian Alvarez. So it... There's a few pretty similar aspects from this team to the Adrenal XL team, but do let us know in the comment section which team do you think is better. Overall, I think it has to be the Adrenal XL team, but they did have the advantage with having an extra card per pack. So let us know what you think in the comment section, what team you think is better. And of course, thanks everyone for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to absolutely smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and of course, hit the notification bell next subscribe button. That way you'll never miss a future upload which gets uploaded to the channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.